everybody welcome back into the atrium today we are going to be doing please no okay obs threatened to crash i was like no please no i'm just starting have mercy on me anyway welcome back to the atrium we're doing some art fight stuff today uh we're doing this lovely character here i have the details here let me go out this is Angie by Blargen69. And they're doing an animation for it based on a Twitter PNG dance. Uh, Twitter stock photo dance, I should say. Uh, so rather, rather than working in my animation program, I figured out that I'm horribly, horribly bad right now at keeping on model. I thought I'd switch over to Procreate make the PNG files and then plop them into the animation. So here's the poses we have right now. This is the first one. I've got like 20 to make. I've got five done. Um, so we've got a lot of work. So if I'm being super quiet this stream, it's because I am going to be in super focus mode. So that's the ones we have right now. And I can show you. Let me do this real quick. I can show you the animation I have so far in Toon Squid. Let me pull it up. Boop. Uh, let me put it on a loop. Okay, yeah, it's there. So this is as far as I've gotten in the animation so far. And then it just loops back over. So I still have quite a bit of a way to go. Beep. Okay, duck. So let's go ahead and get started since we've got a lot of work to do. I'm going to turn on the music. Music today is just my music that I've made. Let me make sure my chat's where I can kind of see it in case someone comes in. Get my water ready. Okie doke. Let's get started. Turn down this music a bit more. So I've got a bunch of loose drawings. I guess I can show you kind of where I was at in the animation process. The reason I had to switch over and all that. I made all the poses out following the, the original dance. And I'll show the original too. How about that? Okay, let's turn this back on. So this is the original. Let me, um... I'm gonna come over here, pause this. So this is the original. And then I went in and made like basic outline poses, silhouettes, and I've already deleted that layer. And then I've made 
one similar to the character, but this wasn't close enough to the original character model. So I had to fix a bunch of stuff I realized when I was almost done. But at the end, you'll realize I just kind of gave up on the poses when I realized I'm going to have to move to a program I can actually work with easier. So. It'll be something similar to this. Turn that back on. Get back over to Procreate. Okay. Since the head's kind of in the same pose, I think I'll just move the head over. clear out this shading stuff. I'm going to go ahead and shrink this reference. stuff. Wee. Here, let me... Uh, this one. Just kind of clean up stuff here. Then I'm going to go ahead and yeah, we'll get rid of all the rest. turn this original sketch down further because it was really not the right proportions at all for her. So it's more a general suggestion of things. Gotta turn the brush down. Bam, bam, bam. My brain while animating. Bam, 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 bam.
I'm gonna go clean up the edges a little. Get her legs. There we go. Don't think we'll actually see the leaves in this one. I can maybe have a hint of one like back here with the tail. Which is a very small hint. For those of you who don't know, she's got leaves under her skirt. I need to come back down and fix this one in tennis shape. Oh wait, I need to wait to do that till we have the tail. Which I forgot to do in the, the skin layer, so let's go back down. Draw out this tail. Gonna rename this one so I know what was here. I have some safety shorts on her and other uh, poses. But that's not what that was. What was. 
Oh man, I accidentally cleared out that whole layer. Okay. There we go. Yes, I'll take care of myself. Thank you. Have a good lurk. Take care of yourself. Make sure you uh, get a good rest and all that stuff. I hope you've been having a lovely, lovely time. Thank you for stopping by. Make the tail bigger. Marking these as complete. There we go. on, but human emotions make you stay in a thoughtful state for a long time. May your battle with drawings against other artists will end in satisfactory results. Thank you. I can show, um, I didn't think about it earlier, but I can show the ones that I have completed so far for Art Fight. So let's just go through and get a couple of those. So this is an order of Newest to oldest. There are these two characters. Um, they're wonderful dragon people. The character descriptions are really fun. You've got a fiery short dragon lady and her uh, more normal sized, contemporarily kind of nervous type that she drags around in all her misadventures. Then we had Robert, the flying worm. Let me, um, I can't move it. He's got a crown on one of his, uh, one of his loops. Then we had this beautiful, beautiful dragon in an apple outfit. This one, uh, Reko Gecko and I attacked together. Then we've got uh, our friend Maestro, that Maestro guy, recently on a very important talent show. Did an amazing job. Uh, one of Spelly Does Art's characters, Kione. Another one of her characters. And then this one is our friend uh, Animon Masters. He has a whole extended universe of time traveling uh, agent characters. And this was the very first one we did. This is Flynn, the adventurer. I don't know how the artist felt about it. They're the only ones that haven't contacted me about it. That and the worm. So this and worm, they didn't really say anything. Uh, let me get out of here. Okay, let's grab this color. Look at the eyes and bioluminescent polyp things on the tail.
I haven't checked today to see which team's like in the lead or anything. I think that's too close. Yeah, it's too close. Okay, now we can duplicate. I'm gonna delete that. There's something over here that it's still picking up on. Let's make sure that's all cleared out. We don't have any floaters off in the middle of the animation. Then we blur it. Uh, eight. And then it's at 40% opacity. Because they glow! She's kind of... Um, the description says she's kind of based on a... Um, a lantern, fi lantern fish? Is that the correct term? Angler fish. There we go. Not a lantern fish. Angler fish. Save? Okay. Thank you. Welcome in, Cryptic. Good to see your face. Let me get these couple lines down and then I'll give you a nice shout out. One of the things I think is really cute about her design, she's kind of got this flying saucer dress. That's really neat. I think I need to have the skirt coming more up here. And this isn't the correct shape on the arm area. somewhere. Still not close somewhere. Affects where this whole line was. Okay, let me go back. Um, 
here real quick so we can shout out our friend cryptic mimic because i like supporting my friends turn this up so people can hear hey head model Oh, oh no. no! No! Not like this! Not like this! No! No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was unfortunate. But yeah, if you guys haven't, you should definitely go check out our friend Cryptic. Thank you for stopping by. I enjoy seeing your face around here. Let me turn this back down so I don't blast people's ear holes. That area has so many invisible walls. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of difficult in some games. The phantom wall conundrum. Uh, before I move to skin, let me get her boots. I need to change the angle I had these boots on. Because it's like, I gave her a second knee in the original one, and I don't know why. There'll be more down here. Is that about right? Let me measure. That's about right. Hey, King! Welcome, man. Good to see you. There's so many disjointed and hard, uh, wall ride yeah yeah i get that maybe you've been having a lovely day king it's good to see you pop this in i think i need to the sizing's not exactly right on this Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Let's see here. And then the second one will be like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like this. Okay, let me get rid of the old one. Clear this. Clear that. Clear! There we go. Okay, let's get back down to the skin layer. Fix this. Okay, next is the boot stuff. Yeah, there's still a bit of skin down there I didn't get. The pen decided to stop working. Give me a second. Pin. Work. There we go. Still 
missed a bit. How do I do that? Oh, it's on a different layer. That's why. Okay. We'll fix that in a, a little bit. I'm gonna have to fix the boot still. Because the cuff comes up to here. Looking cute? Thank you. I have drawn this little alien girl so freaking much the last week for this animation. It's. I hope they like it. It's a lot of work. I don't even know if it's going to be worth the points for Art Fight. Because I could get. If I do a drawing with one character and my style with all the stuff to it, I can usually get. Um, 56 points for every piece and sometimes I could get two a day and if you do multiple characters in one then you can double it of course so I don't know if working on this is going to be hurting my team effort at all all right let's go fix this real quick Get the little boot fold in on this one, too. Okay, let's do the trim. Okay, so her waist trim is going to be somewhere around here. thickness. It may be a little big. That would be too thin. Like this. Yeah, that looks to be more accurate. Maybe a little more. Back on. Just a smidge more. Okay. And then trim. Erase this section a little. It's a little thick over there. A little thick over here, too. There we go.
fix that a little. There we go. And let's get these little noobs. Little tic tac shaped things. I think I'm just going to copy this for a couple of them. Get this out of the... Oh no, I'm being raided! No! Yeah. <laughs> Welcome in, Lily! Thank you for the raid! Aw, oh, thank you for the follow, friend! Chaos Lily! <laughs> Thanks for the follow! Welcome in, everyone! Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Woo -woo. Thank you guys so much for stopping in today! Break good times, come on! Anyone Mush Mom says is cool is cool with me? <gasps> you think I'm cool? Really? I'm going to make you live to regret that. <laughs> Welcome in, everyone. So, Lily, your raid gift was a burger capsule, which means you can get any character of your choosing in a food themed costume. And you can put that over in our Discord raid redeem channel at your leisure, of course. Welcome in. I hope you had a lovely stream. And if you need to do some post-care stuff, anyone, go ahead and do that. I understand. But welcome in. What were you doing today? Did you have fun? You'll have to tell me. For those of you who are new here, so, you know, for all the beautiful chaos children of Lily coming over and the non-chaos variety, welcome in. I'm Olo the Globian, and I am a researcher with the United Space Initiative. I came to Earth to study its culture through art, games, and music. So let's have fun. Uh, I've got a thing where I can show some art. It'll take a second to load up. We were very cozy today. Oh, that's good. That's good. Cozy day is good day. Definitely. There we go. Little art carousel with my past stuff popping up here to show you guys. Uh, I'm a potato. Potatoes are the best. Welcome in. <laughs> it's good to have good to have you here. Uh, let me see. Uh, today we're working on art fight stuff. A sweet potato. Oh, hi, Opie. Good to see you. Potatoes are literally the best food ever. OK, I've got a story about that. something you're going to find out. I've got a bunch of useless information. Um, Okay, so potatoes literally can save humans from starvation. A human can live off of a diet of nothing but potatoes. And this was discovered because in France, um, this guy was thrown in prison and they're like, you know what, let's give him a garbage food. Let's make him eat this dirty tuber thing that we just have everywhere. Nobody likes. And they're like, you get to eat this potato for the rest of your life. And he's like, well, guess I'm going to starve to death eventually. But then he like sustained and had a healthy, relatively healthy life. And he wrote extensively about the benefits and nutritional properties of the potato afterwards and tried really, really hard to convince people to eat it. But nobody wanted it. Fast forward later, France is having a famine. And... The king at the time was like, hey, guys, you got to start eating these potatoes. We can grow them really fast. They're super nutritious. You won't starve to death. And they're like, no, we can't eat that. That's a garbage food. Potato is garbage food. You can't make us. So what he did was he reverse psychology them. So he made a private royal potato patch with guards. And he told the citizens that, you know, he is got this magnificent potato patch with this magnificent food in it and that it is highly sought after and needs protection 
and then he told the guards not to enforce any form of protection. That way, the citizens would sneak in to steal the potatoes and actually not starve to death. So, potatoes are amazing, okay? <laughs> that's, that's what we got to say about that. Some good potato history for you, spudheads out there. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I would disagree. You would, Lily. Do you not like potatoes? A king that actually helped? Well, <laughs> that guy's stuck on the side of my head here. I need to make sure that only throws from the other side. I'm gonna redeem that to you since, uh... Since it got on the side you couldn't see. And, uh, in fact, I think I'll also... Can I, uh... Yeah, there you go. I'll give you a screen spam! Just for you! All the Golovians! Yeah, so let me turn this art carousel off. Yep. And I'll show you what we're working on. I'm not Lily, but I'm honored to be mistaken with her. Yay! Oh, you love potatoes. Opie doesn't like them. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Opie doesn't like potatoes. To be fair, Opie, have you had the right kind of potato? Potato can be cooked in so many ways. I, th I feel like we could find a way potato is prepared that you would enjoy. Because there's just so many. You said Lily? Oh, I said Lily. Sorry. Slip of the tongue. Slip of the communicator. Yeah. So... I feel like... Uh, that's what I said. She hadn't had the right potato. You know, have you had sweet potato pie? Do you like sweets? Because let me tell you, there's two different variants of sweet potato um, that I have found humans to really enjoy. And so there's like the classic orangish yellow sweet potato pie. And then there's like the ube, the purple potato. Ooh, and ube stuff's just fantastic. I like chips and fries, but plain potatoes, meh. I don't know a soul that's okay with a plain potato. Like, I have never met anyone go, heck yeah, this... This potato without any seasoning is fantastic. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think anyone likes an unseasoned, uh... Potat. Okay, let me show you what I'm working on today. I'm doing an animation for Art Bite. Breakfast potato with onion? Oh, that's so good. Smothered. Smother the potatoes. Your fiance? What? No. No! Your fiance eats someone seasoned and raw? Okay, we need to give him the human test. I've never met a human that does that. Oh, in microwave. Put some in the microwave. My apologies. Okay. Yeah, but still slightly nuked with no dressing is a little bland. A little bland, but I can understand if uh, if someone's into that. My Mima loved raw potatoes. You know, Mima's. And grandmas in general have weird eating habits. Ham's grandmother, on her maternal side, likes to eat orange peels. Like she will eat the orange, like she'll peel it, eat the orange, and then eat the peel. So, there's that. All right, so we're doing this uh, lovely character here. Let me move my reference out so you can see her. Uh, let me get the artist name. Blargen69. Angie by Blargen69. Over on Art Fight. We're doing an animation of her, so I've got a lot of pictures to draw. <laughs> yeah, that face is exactly the face that you should make. I'll bring my fiance over so he can explain himself, because he's laughing at you. Okay, he's welcome into the atrium as well. 
at any time. I'm learning so much about humans and that they'll literally eat almost anything. Get in here, can! So we're on pose number six out of like 23, I think it was. I am the potato eater. Welcome in, kid. It's good to see you. I'm sorry you had to get drug in, but it's nice to finally meet you. You know, I've seen uh, I've seen stuff about you over on the Discord. It's good to see you in here. Thank you for stopping in and sharing your potato eating phenomena with us. You said that right as I heard your voice on his phone. <laughs> he follows wherever I lurk. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. The family that watches together probably has many arguments together, but at least they stay together. I grew up low income, so I'd bring a potato to school every day for a snack. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. So Ham also grew up in a pretty, uh, pretty, uh, I should say low economic standing. Uh, definitely in the poverty line for her country. Uh, so, and she had friends that also w were within that same group. So definitely can understand the uh, desperation steps. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. And then, it, and then afterwards, it's just like it's a food you crave for no reason. Later, from what I understand, you'll just be like a totally fine person, and your economic status may have changed even, and you'll still want like those those desperation foods. Like with ham, it was beanie weenies and rice. For those of you who don't know, it's basically uh, exactly what it is. It's rice, white rice, boiled with baked beans and uh, cut up hot dogs. And uh, sometimes that craving will still come up. Um, Let's see, what was another one? Ramen with potato chips in it. That was another one. So like you cook the ramen and then you put specifically Lay's uh, sour cream and onion chips in it. Or potato chip sandwiches where it's just uh, a bread, uh, some mayonnaise and some potato chips. Yeah. I once made a grape jelly and Miracle Whip sandwich. You know, Ken, you and Ham's spouse would get along famously. Baked beans, instant mac and cheese, and cut up hot dogs? Oh my goodness, yes. Yes! Tuna chip casserole, yes! Potato chips, tuna, and cream of mushroom soup. We kind of do cream of mushroom. Uh, a couple people in Ham's family are actually allergic to mushrooms, so we did ours with, um, they did theirs with cream of chicken. But, yeah. Definitely a big staple. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hmm, I'm trying to think of anything else. Cream of bacon is a good sub. Hmm, we'll have to look into that. Never tried it, but it sounds savory. Hamburger meat and mac and cheese. Uh, oh, just peanut butter and jelly mixed together in a bowl, not even on the sandwich. That was another one. <laughs> fried bologna sandwich. Yes, fried bologna and fried spam. Those are huge. Spam sandwiches? Heck yeah. That's where it was at. Spam sandwiches and tomato soup. Can't go wrong with a good grilled cheese either. Corned beef hash from the can, yes. <laughs> what's what's weird is uh we'll have normal the humans around here will have normal canned beef. And or not canned beef, normal corned beef. Which is 
one of Ham's favorites, by the way. It's corned beef. And, uh... Still, the craving for the canned version will arise. March these down. Nope, not clipping mask. Bruh, not clipping mask. Oh yes, canned corned beef with the potato and the onion. Oh. It also changes based on where you grew up. So ham. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, block! Thank you, Opie. <laughs> oh, my friend. One of the fun, fun things is to remove the label. <laughs> Taking out to eat on the go. Looks like dog food. It really does. You know, and it also has the same consistency. So, and almost the same scent. So, <laughs> no one's gonna know better. No one's ever gonna know better. Um... Let me get in the... The shoe soles here. Whoop! Uh, let's see. Oh, SOS? That's, a, that's another thing. For those of you who don't know, um, SOS literally stands for uh, shit on, on shingles. And it, it basically is just the worst version of hash meat in gravy. Yeah, <laughs> in gravy uh, on, on a bread. On a slice of bread. That was another big food. Goulash? I don't know if you guys had goulash. It's basically just whatever meat you had left with whatever vegetables you had in like a... Uh... Yeah, that was my jam. Yeah. <laughs> goulash was uh, in gravy and then I hate goulash. Yeah, tomato, tomato, goulash, tomato, not gravy, tomato sauce. Soup, burger, and rice on toast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my dad made goulash a lot. That's, that's a big one. And of course, where Ham grew up, like the tamales. Oh, the tamale lady was a goddess. Everyone had one, right? This lady that would go around the neighborhood door to door selling her tamale. Oh, and they'd always be the best. Like, you'd be like, I hope the tamale lady's coming again this year. <laughs> and we'd buy like two big Ziploc bags and freeze them and just, oh. Gotta love them tamales. Okay, I can get rid of this one. All right, let me look at the damage here. I need to clean up the skirt a little bit. There we go. You know, I don't see that leaf at all, so let me come down here and clear it out. Oh! Another one? Let's celebrate! Thanks for the follow, kid! Celebrate good times! Come on! Celebrate. For those of you who don't know, I kind of have an obsession with 80s music, so everything on this channel's got an 80s song to it. But thank you for the follow. Let me turn down my music on my end. There we go. 
Celebrate good food. Come on. You know, celebration was also always at the family get togethers too. like the holiday stuff. They had a party CD and it was like party songs. But of course, they were an ultra Baptist conservative family. So it was just the safest versions of the party songs. The like celebration and stuff. Okay, I think we can go into the line work now on this one. Kids Bop. Yeah, kind of like Kids Bop, but yeah, uh, go to sleep, Opie. Thank you for stopping by. I know it's like super early in the AMs for you. It's always good to see you around here, but get some rest. Take care. I need to change the lip shape a little bit. She's just smiling in this one. She doesn't got the... Yes, we stand OP here. Let me... I forgot. Because I'm kind of gully brain sometimes. I need to... Give a... A shout out to our beautiful Mush Mom. And uh, let me get some clips going. Hey, Bobble Parade. It's one of my favorite songs I've ever made. Okay, uh, we'll get some clips for everyone. One for Lily to start out with since she brought everyone in here. Yep, let's see if we get a kosher one. Oh! Giraffe! Oh, I was there for this one! That son of a bitch! <laughs> what if we just quit? What if I... <laughs> what if Giraffe is still alive because it didn't get saved? <laughs> Come on, everybody, yeah, giraffe. Just cross your fingers. Rip giraffe. <gasps> Nugget. How dare you? <laughs> yeah, Nugget's response too. All right, I'm taking my uh, my hydrate now. <sighs> okay. Poor giraffe. I'm hydrated. Oh my god, giraffe is still alive. Yes, we were so relieved. Hey, Proclip! Over a stupid horse. Yeah. Cubans grow attached to their digital pets. It just shows how precious and wholesome humans can be. <laughs> That's always one of my favorite. And then, uh, let me see here. And bring this over. Does uh Lily, you'll have to tell me or can if you're still here. If uh do they stream, I will shout them out appropriately. If anyone's a streamer here and would like a shout out, just say hi me. I'll always give you one. We do! I, I'm going to shout you out now. No one can hide from the Twitch guru. Literally, we found out it even pulls up deleted clips. Oh no. Okay, that's better. I thought you were in a lava pit. It always fascinates me how people can build things in Minecraft. My brain doesn't work that way. With Legos either, it just doesn't compute. 
3D spatial awareness is not in my brain's catalog. That is for sure. It's built for the 2D. I do D&D and Lego builds in Minecraft. Ooh. Ooh. We love that stuff here. We adore that stuff. So we'll definitely be stopping by your streams in the future. In fact. Boop. You have my follow, good sir. Maps and instructions are my friends. Okay, good to know. I'm not the only one that has to look at the, the sheets. Boop, 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 boo. Uh, Lily, Opie is paging you. Lily, Opie is paging you. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me turn this down. So I don't blast your ear holes out. Get Plopple Parade back on. Heck yeah. This was like the first song I was proud of myself for making. The rest of them I was like, this is garbage. But does anyone believe in me? Okay, let's get our line working. But Plopple Parade was like, hey, I might actually be okay at making music. Am I on the wrong pin? What's going on? No, I'm on the right one. Hey, Stax! Welcome in. Good to see your face. I hope you've been having a great time. I don't know if I shared my builds on in Lily's discords yet. Oh, you'll have to so we can see them. Uh, let me turn this up. It's is the, yeah, the clip is playing. Okay. Battlefield. Oh, block. Oh, it's me. <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it now. That makes sense. I was like, I don't understand what is happening. The screen is beautiful, but I don't get it. Might just be me listening to the intro music for like 10 minutes. It is a beautiful song. From what I heard of it. Okay, let me get back here. Got a lot of work to do. I forgot. To, I need to come back up here real quick and pick something. While I'm here and I remember it. I think I need to get a neckline there. Need to get separation between these two antennae and get the mouth on the tail. There we go. And her hand over here. Oh, I forget this hand is like in a really kind of screwed up pose. By the way, anyone here participating in art fight? We're team werewolf. How to develop measurement systems for the Lego versus the D&D builds. Yeah, I can imagine they're They're going to have to have their own kind of mechanics behind them. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to take me forever to draw that hand, but that looks kind of okay, as it is. 
Okay, I think that's all the lines for this section. The leaf. We ain't got no leaf this time. That's okay, that's okay. That doesn't have any shading. Here we go. Get this line in there, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Hello, it's Galerbians. That's so cute. Thank you for that. Fills me with joy being surrounded by my brethren. I mean, we don't really have a gender, but the best human equivalent I could come up with. <laughs> Hello, my friends! Look, there's even Opie. <laughs> I need to update that. I need a, I need a lily duck now. I, I've gotten so many wonderful new streamer friends. Oh, and supporters. I need to add a few to my flock. There were a lot of kings on that last one. More! More! By the way, I've been meaning to check something. Yeah. Hold up. Wait a minute. Put a little love in it. Let me check this thing. Did anyone else have that cassette tape? Man, I'm really telling my age. Did anyone else have that co the weird cassette tape with a bunch of different like rock songs on them? And that was like the second one, I think. I didn't start them. I was like, I wonder why no one's contributing points to these challenges. I, I did not start them. There we go. The game's on floppy. <gasps> you and I, we have so much in common. Now I, now to say I was not, uh, really on Earth long enough for that to be common, but. Like I said, Ham's family was incredibly poor, so it was, uh, not uncommon to see outdated technology around. Uh, do I need a- no, I don't. Not this time. And since it's white, we gotta get our gray. I think right here is the only separation we need. Nope, down here. Oh, I need to go back to the purple too. Off to play some Fortnite with Chaos. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by, you guys. Have fun on the Fortnites. I hope you have fun playing whichever mode you're playing on. Amandi, Ham's spouse, plays on the one where you don't build a lot. It's just basically another... any other, uh... shooter game at that point. There we go. Okay, I think we're done with lines. Maybe I'll turn that one back on so I can see my shading. How much time I got left? Okay, I got time. Okay, let's start with the legs.
This is another one of my songs that I actually liked. It's rare for me to actually like one of my songs. It's happening more and more often lately. Get this in here. I need to come erase this shading here. becoming a donor to the United Space Initiative. It's great. Thank you so much. We are slowly edging towards our uh, our goal, but uh, I just want you guys to know it does mean a lot that you're willing to support us. It's it always baffles me. <laughs> I'm not talented enough for this. You know, I'm not not entertaining enough or anything, but I definitely appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. You're going to help us this channel grow. Right now, all the proceeds are going to go to stuff to help upgrading the channel. But thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for contributing your points. Oh, around. Nothing's ever going to get you down. Thank you so much. You know, except for chronic anxiety and stuff, but thank you so much. That's so sweet. You've been fantastic. Oh, thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will try to believe that for myself. Let me fix this. Let me turn this back on. Let me fix this. There we go. Fit. Uh, where, where, where was I before? Okay, yeah, we need the glowy bits. I think right here. on the bits of the tail there on the antenna where those eyelashes meet because the eyelashes glow and 
Nothing in leaf group. I need to come here and put a little green glow on the edge of the horn. That's all good. That's all good. I don't have any... I uh, read something that resonated with me uh, the other day. Roughly it narrated. I'm always baffled by compliments that I receive from others. The response was, Others see you for who you really are. What your true worth is instead of the lies about you that you tell yourself. That was a very lovely quote, Stax. Thanks for sharing. I feel like that's the truth. I tell- I say it all the time that I am my own worst critic. Like, nobody talks to me the way I talk to me. <laughs> Absolutely nobody. And it's like, I wouldn't let anyone talk to my friends the way I talk to me. So why? Why do, brain? Why do? And brain goes, trauma! <laughs> Wait, am I on the right layer? No, I'm on the wrong layer. I do need to put in a little shadow here where it's her side. And under here. Do we need a... No, we don't need any glowing bits on her. Uh, but we need to come down here and get these. Get this. Forgot about the little crinkle lines on the boots, so let's go add those real quick. I need to go back down. I missed the, the boot thing, didn't I? Oh no, it's further up. Okay. Need to bring this back up. Put some shade there. And then let's get this stuff around these little circles shaded. And I think that's it for this pose. So let me... Turn that off. And then I'm going to hide my display real quick so I don't spoil people with things I'm working on. Save that. I get the next setup ready for pose seven. Now I can unhide. We'll take one of these, flatten them down, put it up in this group. This will be my reference. This is for me to kind of try to keep myself on model because I'm not very good on keeping on model. It's something I've discovered. And then this is the one I pull from for cheating purposes. Cause I gotta make a lot of these. I'm gonna cheat my way through it sometimes.
Okay, let me come back down here, back to skiing. Gonna clear all this out real quick. We can get rid of Smile because that's gonna be a line this time. And then she's in profile. Did I do another one in profile? No, not yet. I guess I'm just remembering drawing this one. So let me move over the eye and lay the flower crown. Okay, and then I'm going to have to come down here. that out. Reselect. Care package. I'll do that in just a second. After I clear this. Okay everyone feel free to do the caring with me. We're going to stretch and hydrate. First we'll start with our stretch. Make sure you stay nice and nimble friends. Feels nice. Now we're going to take our drink of water. Make sure you drink plenty of water, friends. That was lovely. I needed that water. Thank you so much for helping take care of me. Kisses. You get watered like a plant? Yeah, I've got a I've got a mister. See it. Just kinda sprays me. And then I absorb it through my membrane. Cause I don't know if you've noticed. I don't know if you've noticed this. But um I don't have a mouth. So I do, I do things a little differently around here. Now I don't want to resize that. I don't want to distort it. Where is the voice coming from? My communicator. See? It glows when I talk. Most of the time. And that's kind of where the redeems are coming from because I have, I have a form where I do not have my communicator on. Ooh, fancy tech. Yes, that is cutting edge alien technology. That was primarily programmed by the United States and only knows English for some reason. Never outsource your tech manufacturing to America. That's all I gotta say. But yeah. I've got my handy dandy communicator that I wear when I'm streaming. Didn't the song just play? I'm gonna skip it. Uh, hey, it's too serious. <laughs> This is the song I was really happy with, but I was trying to work on my my opening, and uh, this did not fit me at all. I feel like a funny joke would be a little thing of Olo looking for the communicator, like someone who lost their glasses. My calm. My calm! I can't talk to anyone without my calm!
Okay. Now that I've got that sorted out, let me make a face. Trying to make it the same size and all that jazz. Whoops. I think that's about right. Oh, I should have done that on a separate layer. Yellow brain moment. That's pretty on model. I definitely need to fix that lay now to fit the right proportions. I still don't have resized it until I had the actual head. Because these original sketches were way off model. Okay, let's grab... The horns are, are going to be different, too. I have drawn those in perspective before for another piece. I already kind of know. What I think I need to make them look like. Let me just clear it out, start fresh, grab color. I mean, I try to just make this a model, which I'm really bad at. Okay, more like this. up there. I actually think its angle's gonna be more like that. Let me do this real quick. It's Three bend and need to do a better job at spacing those out. There we go. I think that's good for there. I need to come down here. I really shouldn't have deleted the antenna, but hindsight. Yeah, we should do another forward antenna pose. What kind of length am I looking at? Oh, I actually did it. For those of you who you can't really see me do it because of the angle of the, the iPad on the screen, but I'm doing that old art trick, you know, where they use the their pen or pencil to measure out 
objects. When I zoom out and check sizes, that's what I'm using. That's a little too long. I need to... Let me do this on a, another layer. Undefined. Ah. Okay, I can give you one. Let me think. <laughs> Note to self. Fix that. Hmm. I'm trying to think of one. Okay, do you have a category of fact you'd like to know? Because I can tell you the category breakdown. still have that. <laughs> there we go. I need to... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the right size. Okay, here's a fun fact. Well, I guess it depends on your definition of fun. Um, how do I how do I word this? Okay, have you ever heard of the the term ambergris? It's a very highly sought after product. It's used in some very expensive products. Your <laughs> so ambergris is actually just basically whale vomit, which is why it's so incredibly rare and hard to get a hold of. So there you go. Fun fact. Thanks for that fun fact. Yeah, you'll always have it. You'll always have it now. For no reason. Bob's Burger did an episode with it. Oh! Yeah, yeah, I love Bob's Burger. I forgot they had done that. So I moved to a country where Hulu's not allowed, so... I haven't seen the latest season. Really, really want to, though. Do you want ants? That's how we get ants. <laughs> yeah. Watch the, the movie, though. It was pretty fun, but my only thing with it is that... If you didn't know it was a movie, you could very easily just take it for 
an extended Bob's Burger episode. But it was still a fun time. And we watched alongside someone who's never seen Bob's Burger. So they really... <laughs> not, not bad, but they... One of the comments they made while watching the movie was... These kids are so weird. And it's like, yeah, that's the point! That's the joke! How do you differentiate between a series movie and an extended episode? So for me, it's like something that has... I don't know, like a certain level of stakes or magnitude to it. And... For example, a lot of series movies will go to a different location, right? It becomes like a grander adventure than just the normal... Uh, the normal series would do, like they did that. Um, in a couple of franchise movies, or they made the stakes larger than life. But for this, it was just we're still in the town. Nothing's really changed, and it's as high as the stakes. Spoilers for anyone. Mute, mute me for a couple of minutes, but spoilers. Um, if you know, not getting murdered is a pretty high stake, but that's happened on the show already a couple times. So, uh, I don't know. It, it just then kind of seemed like, like it could have been an episode. Now the production quality was great. The musical numbers were wonderfully fun. Some of them were complete earworms, of course. Need to fix this shape. Do you have a favorite character? I think I don't have a favorite character of Bob's Burger, but um, I love the dynamic and how wholesome it is. And it's sad when you say animated families really don't have good dynamics to them. So it's nice to see a relatively healthy family dynamic. Another fun fact for those of you who may not know, Bob's Burgers, the pilot and the original concept was going to be about a family of cannibal murderers. And so if you look at the pilot, um, it stars Bob and uh, Linda. And basically Bob's in the basement grinding human parts down into burgers. And Linda's like, you forgot our anniversary, didn't you? And like, it's just such a funny thing, the juxtaposition between a mundane argument and their surroundings. <laughs> but uh, they do a subtle nod to it. In one of the episodes, their shop gets temporarily shut down for having suspected human meat in it. So I think that was a cute note. Uh, Bob would be my favorite, because voice actor, yeah. Also the same as Archer, yeah. This is the pilot? Yeah, and the pilot. So in the Bob's Burger pilot... Not pilot, um... Yeah, in the Bob's Burger pilot episode, their shop gets closed down for the human meat contamination. And then, the, like, the proof of concept animations, the one where they're cannibal, uh... 
people. Let me see. Um, I'm going to pull it up on YouTube and I'll post it in our Discord so that you guys can watch it sometime. Let me see. Let's see, Bob's Burger. The concept. Yeah, here we go. I love the art style of the concept. Um, so I'm going to copy that link. There we go. It's now in our normal Discord chat. And for those of you who want to join, there it is. But you'll notice a lot of the same themes and stuff. And fun fact, in the original pilot, Tina was actually uh, another son. And then they, they changed her in the, the official one. It's a really short proof of concept too. It's like two minutes. So for those of you who've never seen it, I would recommend it. Gonna come over here, grab these and I real quick. Gonna line these up. I put those in the wrong place. Okay, let me put this over here. Is this a happy harp sound? Yes, it is. One that I made a long time ago in 2015. The far off land of 2015. Okay, let's clear this out. Clear this. Yeah, but stop. seriously, it is crazy to think how much has changed since then. the better, right? <laughs> kind of, yeah. Well, that clip was unsettling. So, yeah. That was the original Bob's Burger concept. Turn that down. Yeah, but yeah, things have changed for the better. 
That is for sure. But even for us, so much has changed just in this last year alone. Our stream anniversary is coming up and we were thinking back about just how different our skills are and how many people we know now. Thinking back at all the wonderful members of our community and friends we've made along the way. I need my... My assistance! There we go. Have a good lurk, Stax. Thank you for coming by today. It was good to see your face. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. It's almost time for us to wrap up. Let me get... Just some of this done real quick. Well, we got one more image done and one mostly started out. No, redo. Let's go find a friend to raid. Maybe we can find someone else doing art today. We'll see what our friends are up to. Let's uh, go to wear a tablet. Turn this off. Here we go. That's much better. <laughs> okay, uh... Let's see which one... What are all my friends up to today? You know, I don't really have anyone on doing art. We got a lot of people doing games today. So let's go find someone. You know, we're going to go raid our friend Pilar Noro the snail. Nora Noro. Let's uh do that. You guys can find me on all these places. If you'd like to join us in the raid, you can copy this message. And if you are a USI donor, Sunny. Come on, Sunny. Any day now, Sonny. Really? <laughs> I'm gonna refund you that. Thank you for the stream. Sonny, you little jerk face. Thank you for being here, King. Keep breaking the thing. No, it's not you. It just uh, takes for, uh, forever for the synthesizer to decide it's done processing the information to speak. Uh, and 
The other stuff's me. Uh, if you are a donor, you can copy this message. Uh, that's it for we today and uh, tomorrow. I forgot we were supposed to play Cozy Grove. Oh well. Tomorrow we'll be back with uh, some Cozy Grove gameplay. Wait, why break the communicator? I don't know. Sometimes people like a mute stream. Oh, it's there. It'll uh, it'll turn off my voice for the remainder of the stream. I've just seen it around, so that's why. But uh, that's all the time we have for today. We'll be back tomorrow with FL Studio and uh, some cozy growth. But thank you everyone for stopping by today. Please stay tuned for the raid so we can support this super space friend. And until next time, have fun space friends! <laughs>